Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is the Empathic Pisces here. And today I'm going to do a quick final reading on the case of Nicola Bully. Um, Nicola's case has sparked a lot of attention. Um, and I just really want to ask a few questions and see what comes out in the cards. I did two readings on this case and um, I just want to do a closure reading, okay, um, on the reasons why Nicola was found in the reeds of the River Ryer. Um, she was found on February 20th. And it's been a lot of speculation on her partner, Paul, Fran. Um, and I'm not saying that her partner was involved. Um, I didn't get that in the first reading. I did pick up a male, female knowing more about the situation. So want to call in my guides and just look at the energy surrounding Nicola now. Now that she was found. Prayers to her family, her friends, all her loved ones, and that they have some closure and healing. I do want to ask Nicola, how are you feeling now that you were found in the reeds? What's the energy behind Nicola's spirit? So much I'm going to pull three cards. Oh, goodness. Okay. Card popped right out. I feel like this is just confirmation that she is surrounded by the loving guidance of our angels on the other side and going through some healing here. Why, why was Nicola found in the reeds? Let me show us the energy. Mm -hmm. So, spirit is coming through, okay? Now, like I felt before, I felt like there was a lot going on um, with Nicola. There was a lot on her mind. I see this blinded card come out. And sometimes... I feel like this is representing making a decision, making a rash decision without really thinking about um, the outcome. Sometimes we are in situations where we it, we have a hard time understanding, um, seeing the 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 true reason of something or the outcome. Okay, and sometimes we can make rash decisions, and not all, not all, always in um, in our best interest. Okay, we have meditation. I 
feel like there was some type of imbalance. I am asking about, you know, why was she found in the reeds? What was going on that day? Mm -hmm. So there were some uneasy feelings, something of worry, okay? And this could be about um, a lot of different things. With this meditation card, we have someone needing balance. And I'm feeling this as far as this justice. Um, this also gives me a feeling of some type of, of truth needing to be... Um, exposed. Two more cards here. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. So we have similar cards. We have someone walking away from a situation. We have an illness here. This could be physical illness, mental illness. I Like I said, some things came out about you know um Nicola's health or some things that you know was troubling her um weeks or so prior and I, you know I'm I'm only going with what I get from spirit okay we we don't know really everything that was going on I do feel like there could have been some infidelities there's there's some some things that I think were were going on in the sidelines um, that that could have been exposed. But we have we have an imbalance here. We have this illness. We have anxiety. This is um, you know worry, um, unsure. But this card came out, I think, in in every reading I've done so far. Any other cards, Spirit? I was Nicola found in the reeds. What's going on with Nicola that day? Mm -hmm. Yep. I'm not going to pull any more. This is why I, I tend to wait to do follow-up readings. It's been a few weeks. It's been about a month since I did her reading. Now, they did speak of her having some issues with alcohol. This card came out before. I think it might have been a second case. I do believe there were some addictions going on. There were some some things being done in excess to cover up whatever this anxiety, this feeling, you know, not sure about an outcome of something. I'm not feeling balanced, okay? Making rash decisions without really thinking about the outcome. This was a choice. I'm not saying that, you know, that, you know, it couldn't have been foul play, but I'm, I'm not seeing that. Um, um, could more have been done? Absolutely. I do feel like more could have been done to help, okay? I feel like there was some cry for help, okay? A lot of mental confusion here. I'm going to pull a few cards from my tarot deck. I'm going to ask Spirit. Is Nicola's partner, Paul, was he physically involved in her disappearance? One card, please, Spirit. Involved in Nicola's disappearance 
understand the cause of her passing away. He physically has something to do. Please provide a yes or no. I just want to see what comes out. Okay. Wow, this is a balance card. This is the two of pentacles. Ups and downs, adaptability. Gives a maybe type of energy, okay? We have pain, heartbreak. Three of Swords. Now we have a maybe and a no. And I'm going to take this as... I'm going to take this as a no. And that's only because... Um, I don't feel like he had a physical part in her missing. Like he did something physically. But... Um, I do feel that could there have been a lot of issues going on in their relationship, the marriage, um, that he played a part in, absolutely. Okay, we have this Three of Swords is, is mental um, anguish, grief, sorrow. Um, and with this financial stress that I'm picking up on these keywords, I noticed I picked up a lot in her first reading in regards to her, you know, finances and, and abundance for her family. Um, and I feel like there could have been, I don't know her, her situation. I know she was a mortgage broker or something to that degree, if I remember correctly. Um, but I do feel like there was some stress financially going on um, that could have been really affecting their relationship in some way okay of swords and we have we have the emperor so I asked about this anxiety you know mental anguish going on and to me this is about um, someone speaking their truth or finding out some information um, that was able to being, getting clarity on a situation or, or finding out something that things, you know, could have been unclear, but they became, they became present and clear and, and having a better understanding. We have this emperor. This is about someone in control, someone of authority or, you know, someone that's very disciplined. And I, I feel like whatever was going on, Nicola wanted to break away and, and do her own thing. Something I feel like maybe she, you know, felt um, unable to really uh, explore or do something that she wanted to do. Um, feeling tied down or restricted. said anything about her cause of death. It's going to be if we might not even, even get 
get that information. It may not, the family, you know, doesn't have to make that public. King of Swords. I do feel like something is going to come out in the future. With this third eye here. Um, and I do feel, I don't know if either um, Paul maybe speak for it about something or the authorities with this King of Swords. Will we get the truth of the matter? I don't feel that they're going to announce any foul play in this case. What is the outcome? Final outcome of this situation. Any messages for family? Hold on, some cards fell out. Final messages in regards to this case. So we have foresight with this three of wands. Um, mm. I do feel like the energy of this foresight we're, we're going to hear some information and family is going to be able to have some type of closure in this situation with the autopsy turn into one's roots I do feel like Nicola's spirit is wanting her children to be surrounded by love Okay, her children to know that they were loved by her. That whatever was going on with with this situation did not change the love that she had for her her children. Okay. And I feel like with this eight of pentacles, they're going to be um I feel like some things are going to be put in place, okay, to bring more aware awareness um, of certain struggles that a person could be dealing with. Um, I feel like this is like a resources that could be available or set to aside for the children in the future. I got a couple cards that fell on the floor. Okay. The Hierophant came out. And the Queen of Pentacles. This is about stability, providing um, abundance for the family. Someone who's very nurturing. Uh, I feel like this is Nicola's energy coming through. When I think about this Hierophant, it's about traditional things wanting oh she just really wants to let her family her children know how much how much they are loved she wants her children to to continue to to have the life that they deserve and I know this this is going to be hard for them, but she really wants them to know how much they're loved um, and wanting them to be, to continue to be cared for and provided with everything that they need. reading. Yeah, and this was just the final reading for Nicola Bruce's case. Our thoughts, the heart goes out again to her children, her family, her friends, all of her loved ones. 
I hope that whatever happened, that the truth of the matter is able to, to be told and addressed. I do feel like at times when we have our loved ones that could be struggling, um, we, we may not pay attention to all the, the clues and the cues when someone is really um, going through it, okay? Um, I do feel like there was some element of mental confusion, um, feeling like you don't have a way out with this case. Thank you all for watching. Until next time, peace and blessings.